What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy, Snowy Kurama, and we are here for another week of MRL, or Mono Egg, Rainbow League. I couldn't remember if it was Rainbow or Random. Random wouldn't make any sense. Hi. Sorry. Yeah, Destiny's here too, so... It's not COVID. <laughs> so here we are, playing against the Dragon Team, Matrix... Super and excited for that, am I right? Yeah, they <laughs> kind of just have Dracovish, and they can just Dracovish all over our Dracovish and make us really sad. Like a Dracovish. I forgot to pull up the team, so here we are stalling. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he's got Dracovish. He's also got Dracozolt, Duraladon, Kiram, Zygarde, 10% Tyrantium, Flygon, Drampa, Turtonator, Executor Alola form and Mega Altaria. This team is kind of tough to beat. Really kicking myself in the pants for not drafting Arcanine because a banded play rough would go a long way in this match. But it is what it is. So, and we got the team that I think is the best to combat them. Hopefully, we can go ahead and get it. So let's get into our first mod. But hey, we've doubted ourselves before and pulled through, so yeah. you never know. That's true. All right, first mod, please. Oh, uh, my bad, my bad, buddy. My bad. My bad. Just, just click on the stats okay. there, yep. We got Spicy Pepper, our Mega Charizard. We are here running a Mega Charizard X set on a Mega Charizard Y, because that makes some sense. We got Dragon Dance, Dragon Crawl, Earthquake, and Roost. Dragon Claw is for the dragon types, of course, and then there is a certain dragon type called Altaria that's immune to dragon, and we got Earthquake to try to hit that. There are also some nice ground weaknesses to their team that we can try to exploit with Dragon Dance Earthquake. And Roosters, of course, so we can keep living. Yep. And you could thank me for the nicknames, by the way. Here's Hot Rod, who is a Fire Steel type. Get it? Cool. <laughs> this thing has Flame Body, which would be nice for the physical attacks hitting us. Hopefully they'll be burned. I think it's like a 30% chance or something. We have Dragon Pulse, Hidden Power Ice, and Flash Cannon as well. Ice, of course, is for all the ground dragon types. Dragon Pulse, of course, dragon team. Flash Cannon's here for the Altaria, and Will-O-Wisp is here, so we can hopefully burn something. The burn, Spadef is burn. the Spadef is there to live pretty much anything a Specs Duraludon would want to do, just in case they bring it. I doubt that they will, since it's a Steel type, but you really don't know. They could bring literally anything. Up next is Volcanion. We have an air balloon this time around so we can not get hit from Earthquake. This thing is our Dracovish answer as that thing likes to press Scarfed Water move and we have Water Absorb. We have Sludge Wave, Steam Eruption, and Hidden Power Dragon as well as Defog so we can get rid of them rocks because our Charizard XY does not like the rocks at all. Hidden Power Dragon is the thing that'll hit Dracovish the, the most. Steam Eruption can hopefully burn something. It's also a nice stab move, even though it's resisted by everything on their team. And Sludge Wave is there because the Altaria is kind of a problem. Up next is our League Kill Leader. If you didn't see last episode, go ahead and check it out. That thing <laughs> put in the nice work. We got our Cinderace here, Choice Scarf set. We have High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch, U-Turn, and Gunk Shot. No Pyro Ball this time because Pyro Ball, even in the sun, to their whole team does only like 30%. High Jump Kick is there because he's got a lot of fighting weaknesses, and it's honestly the strongest attack this thing has. Sucker Punch will hopefully land us a kill against their another Pokemon that is very scary that they have, which is Zygarde, 10%. That thing can just kind of thousand arrows our entire team. This thing, Sucker Punch, does a good 50% to it, so hopefully we can get it down to that range with something else and then come in with this thing. U-turn so we can get on out of there, and then Gunk Shot is there, of course, for the Altaria. If they don't bring the Altaria, well, <laughs> Electric Nene is here because, you know, you watch us whip and you watch us Nene. We have <laughs> Reflect, Light Scream, Will-O-Wisp, and Volt Switch. Screens are pretty important in this game, I would say, because of our very frail Charizard and our quite frail Cinderace. Also, you know, dragon moves do a lot of damage. Will-O-Wisp is there so we can go ahead and neuter some of their physical attackers. And Volt Switch is so we can get on out of there, and so we're not just taunted and useless. Last but not least is our Torkoal here with the boots. You know, we should probably have more mods with the boots. But Made for walking. 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All four legs. We have shell armor <laughs> this time again instead of drought because I like we like to take as much hits as possible and not risk some crits. Plus, drought isn't very important on the team since we don't have a lot of fire moves. We have Stealth Rocker, Rapid Spin, Lava Plume, and Yawn. Yawn is here to put some things to sleep in case they're not burned, so that they have to switch out or, you know, it's just asleep. Works on me. Nah. <laughs> and then, you know, we have Hazards, Hazards Removal. Lava Plume can burn with a 30% chance, which is pretty cool. And our stats, we have mostly an HP. Our defense stat allows us to live certain hits. Like, I know Dracovish can doesn't really do much to us. Well, that's if we're drought. You know what, let's change shell armor to drought, actually. Let's just do that, that little edit right quick. <laughs> that works. Okay, now now we can live Drake a Vicious Vicious Rend and the on it. Then we put the rest in Spadef because we wanna we wanna live some Spadef hits just in case. His team is mostly physical attackers, but you never really know. So that is it for our team builder. We'll see you in the battle in just a couple of minutes. Cool. Seconds for you, really, but you know. <laughs> so they brought everything that we did not want to see. Oh, Dracovish, Dracozolt, Altaria, Zygarde, Drampa, and Tyrantrum. I mean, this is why we prep, but that still kind of sucks. <laughs> I was not expecting the Drake result at all, but I guess it makes sense because we have a Charizard. So... I say... Lava Plume? Yes and no. What's that last move that we have on here? Willow? Okay. Let's see. Honestly, let's start Cinderace. Right. My idea... Actually, hold up, hold up. What would they start against us? Yes. Probably Dracovish still, but... I don't... That's why I don't think we should start with our water guy, because we can just switch into that. So, let's press our freaking Cinderace button. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Rotom. That's what I thought. So we could potentially get up our screens, because we need our screens. Tell him good luck, have fun. Oh, Eat. my bad. I'm just rude. <laughs> Yikes. Look how much the fish button does. Fuck. 146% <laughs> minimum to our Rotom. That's a yikes for sure, ladies and freaking gentlemen. Oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not excited for this. <laughs> I just really hope that they lead Vish and then click press the fish button. And then we could get an our Volcanian. Or we could get an our Torkoal, which isn't exactly the best. Because then our Torkoal's basically dead. So yeah. The Volcanian button. That's honestly the best thing that we can do. But it's so obvious at the same time. <laughs> it's Ah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> what do you lead? The fish. You know what to do. <laughs> Which one? Uh, Lava Pope. Oh. That's what we have to do. I'm hoping that they don't press anything. I, I hope they either press Vicious Rend or Earthquake. Because if they press Earthquake, we have the Air Balloon, and it's, it's not affected at all. Later, no. Draco Fish Malfoy, I love it. Oh my god, why am I think of that? <laughs> Please? Oh, he pressed sub. Interesting. Interesting. That's not very fun for us. No, it's not. Why are subs even allowed? They're so annoying. Interesting. Well, he's obviously not scarfed. So that's good for our faster guys. Oh my god. Question is, like, I don't know what, how much HP he has, but I think even if he's max HP, 
our HP, our HP Dragon and our Sludge Wave should still break his sub. Okay. So which one? Sludge Wave, maybe? To poison him? Hidden Power Dragon hits everything on his team, while Sludge Wave really doesn't. So, Hidden Power? The thing about that is, I like this balloon. I like so having our balloon. Sludge Wave? Why no. does it get rid of our balloon? If he hits us with an attack, we don't have a balloon. Oh, okay. I'm hidden Power Dragon, honestly. Let's just do that. Interesting. Okay, fuck you, bro. That is... That's something, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So he's faster than us? He, he is definitely faster than us, unless he's... Hold on. So we know as Substitute and Rock Blast. Yeah. <clears throat> Which the Rock Blast didn't hit us too bad. How many times did he hit us? Three. Three, okay. And it did... 12 plus 13 plus 12, it's 35. Okay, so he's at least max attack, we know that for sure. Maybe like 38. We're at 62. Oh. Unless he got the max roll. Nope, he just. Yeah, he got the max roll. Lucky bastard. <laughs> okay, so he might try that again. He still might live it. Because that might be his best attack against us. But I don't think we can really switch into that with anything that we have. 31 to 37 on our Rotom. Torkoal takes 26 to 31. Part of me wants to play games with him, go Torkoal, and then immediately go back to Volcanion, but I don't know. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> Go back to Volcanion. Hold on. What would really hit him? Well, it's freaking Volcanion would, but hold on. Don't press any buttons. I'm not. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't press anything. I don't know who you're going to I said I wanted to. to go to Torkoal, but I wasn't sure yet. Then you just press the button. I thought that's what you wanted. I just <laughs> want to make you happy. <laughs> this is a stressful situation. Don't worry. Stealth Rock. No. <laughs> the thing is, if we go back to Vulcanian, he's just going to do some more damage to us. If That's he presses like, the Rock hits. Blast move. So... Maybe Heatran or Charizard? So we can hit him with one of the other dragons. Let's moves. actually just press Stealth Rock. Sub. Anything Torkoal has, I'll get rid of that. No. So annoying. Not at all. And I don't think substitutes can be yawned. Yawn is used for the target. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this isn't ideal. Heatran or Spicy Pepper? What do they do? I want to see real quick. Rock Blast does like 20 to our Heatran. I honestly think that's the what we should do. Sun's up. That's what I think too. Okay, let's wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, really. I really don't. I don't know what else this thing does, though, our Heatran, besides helps us against the Altaria. Well, what can we hit him that'll get rid of the substitute again? And then hit him again? Nothing on Torkoal. I know. But... 
thing is our Heatran isn't fast anymore. Like, I made it the first time, so it'll probably die to, to, to fish move. Let's just go freaking Heatran. I don't know. Do you have any ideas? This was my idea, but well, we'll get rid of the substitute. Is that gonna fuck us up? Fuck. That did a lot more than I thought it would. Do you have anything that's first priority? No, our team doesn't have much as far as priority goes. Damn, I didn't calc that out very well. Might want That's to switch on me. Out now. <laughs> that is on me. Um, he's fast, so we could get rid of his substitute and then maybe hit him with high jump kick or something. I don't like this thing. I don't either. Should have made Heatran more defensive. At this point, if Heatran stays in, it dies. Yeah. That's why I'm like, switch out. But to what? Hover over him again. Which one? The freaking... The, the fish. The fishy. Fish boy. Sub, Rock Blast, Earthquake. What's his last move? What's his item lefties? Most likely strong jaw, because other abilities are ass. If he presses Earthquake again... If he presses Earthquake again, then we're good to go Rotom. But if he presses Fish Button, then we are not that lucky. Let's just go Rotom, baby. He'll probably hit it again, because that is, would kill him. Yeah, let's go Rotom. Probably kill I think it's obvious as shit. Let's go Rotom. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> now we press Reflect. Yes, that. So he does not have the fish button. If he had it, he would have pressed it. Yeah, I was thinking he would have pressed it. Jesus. Why did you hit so much, dude? <laughs> like, goddamn. Will Vote Switch do anything? Uh, That might break his sub. Let's try that. And if he's faster, then he won't hit our guy. Hey. Okay. Let's say a Heatran in with our reflect up. Rock Blast is doing like eight. Cinder Ace, Rock Blast is doing like 32. Earthquake's doing a bit more. We're not going Charizard. I think we should go into something that's going to be faster, and that's unfortunately either our, our Cinderace or our Charizard. And if we go Charizard, it's most likely going to die no matter freaking what. From what? From his Rock Blast. Rock Blast does, well, it does half, but that's a lot less HP than I'd like us to be at. So, probably Cinderace. Last yeah. time I pressed some, yeah, you go... yelled at me. Yeah, we're gonna go <laughs> He's got the fish button! <laughs> what the shit? What the fuck? <laughs> ah! <You're kidding> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> yeah. Why did... Maybe his idea was, oh, the sun's up, so my fish button's not going to do so much. But this time, God. I hate it. This is dumb. <laughs> We're having fun today.
We are having fun today. My vote is go Volcanion, and we just press Hidden Power Dragon over and over and over again so he doesn't get a sub. That's my vote. Because he's probably going to press sub. And if he switches, then fine by us. Okay, how much did that do? Like 48. 48%. That's... That's not great. Maybe he doesn't have all the speed. 204. That's if he's jolly. What if he's adamant? Or... What if he's spadef? Better be careful. No, he wouldn't be... We did 38? No, 48. Yeah. We did 48. It's not that. He probably has four here. Max attack. Probably <laughs> adamant. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't have our freaking purple anymore. That's right. Man, I don't like this game. <laughs> How much Earthquake do? 22? Yeah, I think we found a set. Maybe Sludge Wave still would up. poison him? Yeah. Um, Dragon Moves does the best. Out of all of his attacks, Dragon Move does the best. Or out of all of our out of all of our moves, Dragon Move does the best. Or, or, <laughs> do we go Charizard? On the rock, on not the rock blast, the earthquake. Wait. <laughs> we could go Charizard on the earthquake. And then the next turn he could rock blast or he could fish. No, if he fish moves, we're fucked. No, we're not fucked. Fish move only do 36 to Charizard. 42. Earthquake. So Charizard. Hold on. Dragon Claw does not shit. I'm not fan. Another option we have is we could press the freaking steam eruption button, do nothing, hopefully burn him. But that if if that doesn't work then he's just gonna recover that hp back that's what i was thinking sludge wave too so but i mean steam eruption does have more i would rather than... try to be cheesy and go to charizard or hit him with hidden power dragon let's just hit him again okay because if he rock blast i'm glad we didn't go zard <laughs> <laughs> that would have been bad. There we go. How much did that do? 49? Okay. Well. Hidden power again. Charizard? I want to see how much this thing does. Rotom does 24 with Volt Switch. I think we went first with our Reflect, didn't we? Yes. Well, we can scroll <laughs> back up to figure it out. <laughs> Oops. Yes. Yes, we went first. So, we could go Rotom and Volt Switch. Or we could go Rotom and Reflect. My problem with going Rotom and Reflecting is we're taking unnecessary damage. So I think going Rotom and Volt Switching is fine. Rotom, Volt Switch. Unless he catches that and uses Freak and goes out to Zygarde, which would not Volt be Switch. fun. Volt Switch! 
That would not be fun. How about reflector light screen? And then bolt switch. Even though I really want to do bolt switch, but... Yeah, it's just bolt switch. Bolt switch. If he goes Zygarde, I'm gonna hate myself. Thank hey. God. <laughs> Fuck you. Probably gonna go Zygarde anyway and kill us. <laughs> oh God. That's probably what's gonna happen. Hey, we got one though against the dragon team, and it was Vish. Although we have a dead freaking Cinderace, which isn't great. Should we do Heatran, Hidden Power, Ice? Oh yeah, that's right. We have to go first, don't we? Um. Damn, I wish we had screens on somebody else too. That'd be cool. to pick first. Let's go Torkoal. Because then we could yawn whoever the hell comes out. I like that idea. Damn, sub Dracovish. That was something. <laughs> Zygarde, okay. That's what I was thinking you might toss. Yawn. <laughs> Hold on. 70 to 83. Ooh, we have a chance to live. Let's just yawn. We have nothing to lose besides the game. What the substitute, Batman? What is happening? I hate it. I'm not a fan of this at all. Like, in, in the slightest. At least he's not choice banded, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. <sighs> Lava Plume gets rid of his substitute. So let's Lava Plume. Now, Yon? Uh, no, it's Lava Plume again. Honestly. He's probably gonna hit us with something, though. And we're gonna die. But. Shoot it in, Yon. <laughs> no, his plan is he. Thousand Arrows four times and the game's over, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like, that's not me being. being negative. That's just how it's gonna happen, because he's got a Dragon Dance up. And he subbed first, so we had nothing, there was nothing we could do about it. I guess the only thing we could have done about it is go out to something else. But he could have thousand arrows killed that thing instead of subbed. So, I honestly think that Lava Pluming is our best play. Because if he tries to substitute again, we kill it. True. Okay, well, we're not going to let you keep your sub up, buddy. So let's just keep pressing that button. <laughs> this is what we have to do. Unless he's trying to chip us down to a berry, but even then... No, he doesn't have a berry. He's got su he's got freaking leftovers, so let's just keep pluming. Wait, 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 wait. That's because the sun was up. How much does it do without it? It doesn't kill the sub when the sun is... Okay, so... Maybe try yawning and then switch out. No. I don't think so, because if he subs, he just gets a sub. And yawning is pointless. The best play with this thing would be to Lava Plume, but we don't kill a sub now, because our sun's gone. So switch out. Basically, have two options, I'm guessing. Must we bolt switch again? This thing's a ground type, so we can't bolt switch. All right. It. It's either lava plume or go out into something that'll kill him. Well, sounds like lava plume does nothing. We so. don't have Cinderace anymore, so we don't have 
Sucker Punch, which at this range would kill him. Fuck. Really glad to be playing this game today. Um, Rotom's pointless. It doesn't do anything. Yep, so we have two. Lava Slim. This is Lava Slim. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Now, let's see. <laughs> we have to assume, we have to know that this is here. I think he just presses that button several times, and that's the game, to be honest. <laughs> we could go out into th this thing. Dragon dancing is pointless. Yeah, just our dragon, dragon claw, claw would kill. If he presses outrage, that's not fun for us. But I don't think that it does much to our Heatran since we resist that. 36, how much HP does Heatran have? 48. Let's just go off Zard. Zard and Dragon Claw. <laughs> Press the mega button first, though. Yep. And Dragon Claw. Yep. So please go for Thousand Arrows. Or maybe even Extreme Speed. Don't press Outrage. Sweet. Hey. <laughs> Got two. Yeah. Please go anything but Altaria. <laughs> anything except for Altaria, please. He went Altaria. Fantastic. Okay. Well, this thing's mega. Should we do Roost? Can we live a Roost? <laughs> I don't know what this thing's gonna have. Earthquake, there's no point in calcing that. Return does nothing. I honestly don't know what else this thing would have. I don't really know Altaria's moveset very well. I hate how long this is taking. I'm sorry about that, but this is just stuff that we, we, we have to have freaking process. Otherwise, it's never done. Altaria. What moves do you get? Oh, you get rock something. I know that. Let's go Zard. We might be faster. Oh, uh, yeah, we are faster. Dragon Claw will do nothing if he Mega Evolves first, which I don't know why he wouldn't. The Rock Slide will kill us. Rock Slide will kill us. Most likely has it. So, we can either Earthquake for a little bit of damage. Isn't that mean? It is, well, you see, this thing is actually insane. Because right now it's immune to ground, but when it mega evolves, it's immune to dragon. And those are our two attacks. Mm. We could also go. What does that do to our Heatran? Our Heatran's at considerably low health, though. 20 to 24. We could do Earthquake and then switch to Heatran when they kill us. <laughs> Sure. Please? Yes. How much did that do? 37? Yep. And he got a crit on the hidden power. Not fun. But it's whatever. Let's press flash cannon on this thing. Please don't have earthquake. You have earthquake. Alright, well, GG to Matrix. <laughs> Let's go this thing. Let's just will-o'-wisp, I guess. Honestly, just do whatever you want. <laughs> Is that hidden power rock or something? When you could have just ran rock slide? That's weird. It's honestly weird, but I mean, it worked out.
interesting. All right, well, GG to Matrix. We are... Damn, what's our record? I want to say we're 3-2 now or something. I want to say that. Definitely had some nice substitutes in there. Will not lie about that. Was not expecting that. I didn't know Dracovish ran other moves besides Vicious Rend, so you know. Very much kept us on our toes in case he didn't figure that out from all our screaming. And by our <laughs> screaming, I mean my screaming. But yeah, that was that was our game. Join us next week against the LA Dotlers, the normal team. And do you have any closing words? <sighs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> My only closing words is let's quit playing Pokemon forever. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In all seriousness, like this video if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new here and you want some more of that Snowy Karama goodness. Tickle that bell so you know when we're uploading. And we're having fun even though we're talking about quitting. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> all that being said and more, this has been your boy, Snowy Karama. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.